सदाशिवसरंभां शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि सेकंड चैप्टर पेज नंबर सेवेंटी सिक्सटी नईन पेज नंबर वर्स नंबर सिक्सटी नौयान विभ्रमाद्यव नगेशु गति कल्पनम इन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट पोर्शन सुरेश्वराचार्य दि आथर ऑफ दिस नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि टेक्स्ट गिविंग लॉट ऑफ क्लूज for a seeker of moksha and giving the clinching evidence to claim that i am brahman i am sakshi chaitanyam i cannot be the ahankara i am the sakshi chaitanyam witness consciousness i can never be the ahankara ahankara the jeeva or chidabhasa is blessed by me existing because of me the sakshi chaitanyam whenever i say aham or i i am it is a mixture what is the clinching evidence to claim i am sakshi chaitanyam we are seeing from past two classes what is that clinching evidence simple logical and very much mind boggling and if you understand you can enjoy the teaching the method the application of this teaching in drigdrishya viveka also we saw rupam drishyam lochanam drik tad drishyam driktu manasam that shloka opening shloka vidyaranya says that primary i secondary i the primary i is the sakshi chaitanyam i am blessing the secondary i the ahankara so the ahankara and aham sakshi chaitanyam mixer alone can say i am between these two primary i sakshi chaitanyam and the secondary i ahankara together mixture whenever i say i am which one is changing one which one is changeless one we have to understand ahankara the secondary i the lower i the inferior i is changing i in this mixture one is changing another is changeless one is savikaram another is nirvikaram what is that uh, nirvikaram sakshi chaitanyam primary i is nirvikar chaitanyam that is my real nature original nature if we focus on this uh, it is very difficult not to understand i can say like this if you focus on this topic it is very difficult not to understand very difficult not to claim that i am atma 
very easily you can claim i am atma chaitanya that much um, beautifully presented by our acharyas for our benefit it is our job to enjoy that teaching how far you enjoy let us see primary i secondary i mixture primary i consciousness or sakshi chaitanyam is non changing nirvikara i that is satyam nityam ekaha whereas secondary i ahankara the reflected consciousness rc which is reflecting in the reflecting medium mind that ahankara secondary i changing i that is real pramata but when we do the interaction with that uh, worldly objects the entire world full of objects when i interact with one object or the other all the time this mixture alone is interacting primary i secondary i mixture aham i am alone is interacting remember this 24 into 7 at no time chidabhasa alone ahankara or chidabhasa alone is experiencing the world or chit alone chit means primary i alone is experiencing the world doesn't exist mixture alone experience it is our job between these two in every experience you have to uh, claim that even though it is mixture i am chit sakshi chaitanyam primary i i am not ahankara which is changing therefore the attributes of that mind body belongs to that lower i <coughs> lower medium upadhi that cannot touch me the chit sakshi chaitanyam therefore i am free from sukha dukha raga dvesha kama krodha really speaking factually speaking i can never be touched by them they belong to secondary i and secondary i connected body mind attributes sukha dukha raga dvesha they are all of lower order of reality lesser order of reality vyavaharika satyam therefore since they are vyavaharika satyam relative reality they cannot touch me i am the absolute reality chit chaitanyam aham chit eva chaitanyam ar sakshi chaitanyam witness consciousness i am i am not touched by the relative order of reality like waker is not touched by dream world dream world is a projected reality waking world is a relative reality how they are not touching each other because of different order of reality similarly here also i the primary i chit or sakshi chaitanyam am paramarthika satyam absolute reality i the sakshi chaitanyam am experiencer of the mind which is experienced mind is experienced by me so the mind is having experiencer status from the standpoint of the worldly objects mind has got experienced status because i am the subject sakshi chaitanyam from me the sakshi chaitanyam the subject mind happens to be the object it is experienced so mind has got two fold statuses mind has got two fold statuses what are those two fold statuses experiencer status and experienced status remember this carefully mind has got antakaranam has got 
two fold statuses from the standpoint of I, the subject, Atma Chaitanyam. From the standpoint of objective world, mind has got two statuses. Very, very subtle point you have to note. Experienced status and experiencer status. Mind has got two fold experiencer and experienced statuses. Experienced status of mind because of me, the Sakshi Chaitanyam, I, the subject, I am the experiencer of the mind. Mind becomes experienced. And the mind, same mind, is experiencer. Playing the experiencer status. The role of experiencer from the standpoint of external world. Therefore, that mind is experiencer experienced status. When the mind is experienced, I, the Sakshi Jaitanyam, gets the name figuratively, even though I am not changing at all. Because mind being an experienced object from my Sakshi, I, the Sakshi Chaitanyam standpoint, I am temporarily called as experiencer. Temporarily, as though experiencer, I am. As though experiencer. Really speaking, I am not experiencer. In my presence, in my presence, mind gets the status of experienced. In my presence, the Sakshi Chaitanyam, the witness consciousness who is all pervading. In my presence, proximity, vicinity, the mind gets the status of experienced, object status. Therefore, I am primary I known as Pramata as it were, knower as it were, experiencer as it were, observer as it were, all figurative. That is what he is telling, avikriyasya, aham buddhi vibhramat, because of some delusion, some delusion just like in that example when that person is travelling. Nauyana means boat journey. Boat journey when he is doing in the river, boat is going, but he sees that uh, trees are moving. Gatikalpanam, Nageshu Gatikalpanam, Nageshu upon the trees. How fast the trees are going, trees are moving, person says. You are moving in the waters, in the boat, not the trees. Is it not Vibhramam? Is it not delusion? Is it not Bhranti? This Bhranti, he, the boat movement, his movement along with the boat superimpose upon the trees and make the statement what? Trees are going very fast. How trees can go? That is why Acharya used the word Nagesh, Vrikshesu, he didn't say. You see that, uh, how brilliantly he used the word Nageshu. Hmm? Instead of using Vrikshesu, he used the Nageshu. Why? Naga means not Abharanam, okay, ornament. <laughs> Nagayana, Abharanam and all. Here, Naga means Nagachati iti Nagaha. That which does not move. Trees does not move, therefore they are called Nageshu, Nagaha. Nagaha means the tree that which doesn't move. Nagachati iti Nagaha. Gati Kalpanam, Kalpanam, superimposition. You have superimposed, that means Adhyasa. Adhyasa means what? Movement of that boat, you are superimposing upon Adhyasyate, you are superimposing upon the trees. How nicely you are doing, doing like that here also. Bhuktrutvam, aham buddhi vibhramat. Aham buddhi means I am, I am that 
buddhi, that knowledge. I am knowledge, you do not know. Only Vedanta students, after studying this much alone, you know what is primary eye, secondary eye. Otherwise, how can we understand without studying Shastra? Huh? Primary eye or secondary eye, nobody knows other than Vedanta students. Nobody knows. Even all Vedanta students also does not, they do not know because those who study advanced texts, they alone come to know this. That is why Vibhramat, Aham Buddhi Vibhramat, all ignorant people because of uh, confusion, delusion, lack of uh, understanding about uh, primary eye and uh, secondary eye or higher eye and lower eye or Sakshi Chaitanyam and Ahankara, they do not know that. That is why, what they do? Avikriyasya Bhuktrutvam Syad. I, the Sakshi Chaitanyam, I am Avikriyaha. I am not doing anything. Avikriyaha, Avikriya Rahitaha. Modificationless, changeless I am. Avikriyaha Aham. Avikriyasya Bhuktrutvam. Bhuktrutva means enjoyerhood, karma phala bhokta, enjoyerhood. They superimpose upon me the enjoyerhood. <laughs> really speaking, there is no such a pramatrutvam, bhoktrutvam, kartrutvam. Any trum is not there. Trutvam is not there. Hood. Enjoyerhood is also false. Doerhood is also false. Knowerhood is also false. Then what is uh, not false? I am not karta, bhokta, pramata, really speaking. I am not the bhokta, abhokta, aham, atma. Now abhokta, I am, I am never the enjoyer. I am ever the Sakshi Chaitanyam. Who is the enjoyer really? Ahankar. That is really enjoying. The next verse we will see in the next page. Introduction to page number 70. Introduction to 64. Anubandhokti. Yethoktarthaviskaranayam drishtantantaropadhanam Yethokta Yethokta means as said above for the purpose of further clarification as said above that clarification what I said above for that purpose of that above said above mentioned description that example further clarification avishkaranaya further clarification drishtantantara upadanam i am taking another example to clarify that previous example whatever i said to clarify that message through that example, what I have conveyed, the same message I want to clarify with another example. Drishtantantara means another example. I am going to give that uh, another example. What for another example? We have understood one example now. You have understood it. But uh, for my satisfaction, Sureshwaracharya says, for my satisfaction, avishkaranaya, for further clarification, I am going to give another example. What is that example? In this uh, 64th sloka, he is uh, taking that gem example. Gem means uh, a diamond. That uh, is given in this uh, shloka. Yetha jatya mani shubhra Jvalanti nischala shikha Sannidhya sannidhadhaneshu 
ಘಟಾದೀನಾಮಿಕ್ರಿಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ಜಾತಿ ಮಣಿ ಜಾತಿ ಮಣಿ ಮೀನ್ ಹೈ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಜಮ್ ಹೈ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಜಮ್ ಹುಚ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ರೇಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಜಾತಿ ಮಣಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಜಾತ್ಯಮಣಿ ಶುಭ್ರ ಜ್ವಲಂತಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ಜ್ವಲಂತಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಶೈನ್ಸ್ ಶುಭ್ರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಮಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕ್ಲೀನಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಭ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜ್ವಲಂತಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ರೇಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನಿಶ್ಚಲ ಶಿಖಾ ದ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ಫರ್ಮ್ ನಿಶ್ಚಲ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಫರ್ಮ್ ನಾನ್ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಚುವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ರೇಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಶಿಖಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಜಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೈ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಜಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಶಿಖಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟಫ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಶಿಖಾ ಇಂದ ಅಂದ ಕುಡಿಮಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ ಶಿಖಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಡ್ಜ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಫರ್ಮ್ ವೈ ಇ ಡಿನ್ ಟುಕ್ ದಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಾಂತ ಲೈಟ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಾಂತ ದೀಪ ದೃಷ್ಟಾಂತ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವಿಕಾರ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ದೀಪ ಬೆಳಕ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಎ ವಿಕಾರ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಚುವೇಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಜಮ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಚುವೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಟುಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸನ್ನಿಧಿ ಅಸನ್ನಿಧಾನು ಘಟಾದೀನ ಸನ್ನಿಧಿ ಅಸನ್ನಿಧಾನು ವೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಘಟ ಪಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಜಮ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸನ್ನಿಧಿ ನಿಯರ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕೀಪ್ ದಟ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಜಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ because of the brightness of that radiation of this gem the pot is illumined pot is revealed pot is evident pot is also appearing as though shining you know, because of that radiation because of that sannidhi proximity ghatadinam pot etc any object you take ghatadinam ಸನ್ನಿಧಿ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮಿಟಿ ಅಸನ್ನಿಧಾನು ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಜಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಶೈನ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ಅಸನ್ನಿಧಾನು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಪಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ at that time also ghatadinam sannidhi proximity and asannidhaneshu when they, their presence and their absence asannidhana means absence absence of that part what diamond is what avikriya strilingam here because nischala shikha all are in strilingam therefore avikriya jam is changeless vikriya means a change a vikriya means a changeless jam is changeless in its shining prakasha it is changeless whether the pot presence or in the pot absence sannidhi asannidhaneshu api jam is changeless in the presence and in the absence of the pot therefore therefore what therefore that jati mani 
when the pot is there what we say what we say when pot is illumined pot is shining pot is evident pot is appearing uh, because of this uh, jam what we say the jam is illumining the pot we say jam is illumining the pot jam is the illuminator of the pot really speaking jam is illumining the pot no whether it is there or not jam is jam <laughs> it is as it is changeless focus on the example then we go to darshtanta at that time you catch the point okay yatha jatya mani that mani of that mani that radiation that prakasha jvalanti which is shining it is firm changeless and the pot is either present or it is absent there is no change in the jam it's a shining there is no change therefore how you have to do anvaya next shloka he connects it in 65 this is the second example now further he brings um, um, how you are uh, uttering the word making a statement same gem example he continues in the 65 also i will read the introduction to the 65 so uh, object pot can nearby or not nearby also that uh, is not uh, going to bring any change in the jump that is the idea that is the idea so the ashtanta comes only in the 66 65 also is application of this uh, uh, drishtanta i am atram shaha Vivakshitaha iti gnapanaya Sureshwaracharya says from this example I am Atra Amshaha from this example what should we learn from this example the following message we have to understand we have to learn iti gnapanaya to show that to show that how to extend vivakshitaha how to extend this example to our darshtanta to atma in the case of atma what is happening how to extend it you have to extend how much you have to extend that drishtanta that much alone you have to extend ativyapti should not be done According to Tarka Shastra, Ativyapti is also a dosha. Ativyapti means over extinction of an example. Over extinction means Adi Pokuda, the Edathi Pokuda, that is Ativyapti. Avyapti and Povind, Edathi, Pohamani, Irikaradi, and the example Avyapti. They let Tarka Shastra terms, they are not given here, just I am. They are coming in my mind, I am telling you. Ativyapti, avyapti, over extinction of example is called ativyapti. Not extinction, no, no, no extinction of example, not going to that right place to compare, that also is avyapti. Both are wrong. Why I am talking about this? Na? There is a purpose. Why Ativyapti Avyapti I am mentioning here? Because Dvaita philosopher and Vishishta Dvaita philosophers, they do over extinction of Swapna Drishtanta. Vishishta Dvaitins, they do over extinction of Swapna Drishtanta. We the Vedantins, Advaitins use the Swapna Drishtanta. Advaitinism means uh, Upanishad Shastram itself, Brihada Arindika used that Swapna Drishtanta. Mandukya Upanishad Gaudapada Acharya used that Swapna Drishtanta. Many places Swapna Drishtanta comes. Swapna Drishtanta means what? 
ड्रीम एग्जाम्पल ड्रीम एग्जाम्पल दे डू अति व्याप्ति ओवर एक्सटेंशन दैट्स वै दे अरइव एट अ रांग कंक्लूशन वाट हैपन वेन यू एक्सटेंड द एग्जाम्पल ओवर अति व्याप्ति वेन यू डू वेर इट शुड नाट गो यू एक्सटेंड इट द एग्जाम्पल यू अरइव एट अ रांग कंक्लूशन That is why they are arriving at wrong philosophy, wrong conclusion. Final, ultimately, ultimate conclusion is wrong. According to Vishistha Advaita, Swapna is satyam, is real. We are telling Vyavaharika itself is unreal. What is true? What to talk of Swapna? But you see that Vishistha Advaiti accept hundred uh, percent real this Vyavaharika. I mean, Swapna is also real. because of over extinction ati vyapti ati vyapti dosha not only that even marriage water also hmm? marumarichika marriage water also they extend the example like that they do that's why some students also when they listen certain examples they focus on example more more and they do ati vyapti over extinction and they get stuck with that example they get stuck with example and they stuck with that subject also they cannot arrive at the right conclusion why all students are not able to understand tell me because how much you have to take example that much only you have to take don't extend that too much hmm? her face is like a moon and na don't extend her face like a moon and not cool and up if you touch the body it must be like ice cool and pleasant so many comparisons are there you should not take literally like that here also we have to be very careful don't remember that german american diamond this jammu that time our example only for this purpose i am atra amshah vivakshitah extended this example to clarify not ati vyapti here vivakshitah means whatever mentioned the above mentioned gem example to show that um, um, more clearly how to how we make a statement then we come to darshtanta so the author aha gnapanaya aha to show that to show that example further how we make a statement the author is going to explain sureshwara acharya himself writes he himself is the author and he himself says gnapanaya ah sureshwara acharya says writes shloka 65 65 shloka number yadavastha vyanakti ti तदवस्थ सा पुनः भण्यते नव्यनक्ति घटादी नाम सन्निध वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट श्लोक ब्यूटिफुल प्रेजेंटेशन लेटर कौंस दाष्टांत नौ यू हाव टू फोकस ऑन दिस दृष्टांत from this example what we have to understand yadavastha vyanakti iti tadavastha eva sa punah let us go to uh, second line first how you have to do anvaya first uh, let us do anvaya first and and see the meaning here yadavastha in which status in which state ghatadinam sannidhau when the pot adipadat pata griha any object you can take adipadat sannidhau sannidhau means proximity when the pot etc objects are there in proximity venakti iti bhanyate this jam is illumining the pot we make the statement bhanyate means we make the statement statement made by the people 
what that is vyanakti it is illumined so jam is the illuminator of the pot the jam gets the status of what illuminator vyanakti iti sa sa is avikriya is trilingam therefore sa word is used strilingam manishika also strilingam therefore above said the shloka manishika strilingam avikriya strilingam therefore here pronoun sa is also strilingam sa jati manishik that sa manishika that mani whatever be the condition yadavastha means whatever be the condition of the jam hmm? jam is said to be whatever be the condition of the jam is said to be the illuminator venakti iti illuminator iti bhanyate we make a statement bhanyate then what na venakti iti ghatadinam asannidhau when ghata etc objects are not nearby asannidhau when they are not close by na venakti iti jam is not illuminator jam is not the illuminator so the part presence and part absence we conclude that jam is the illuminator of the pot when it is present when pot is absent we conclude that jam is the not illuminator na vyanakti iti not illuminator because of object object is what pot pot is the object pots presence and absence you are superimposing the illuminator status to the jam it is il- the illuminator and not illuminator when pot is present jam is the illuminator when pot is absent jam is not the illuminator illuminate jam is the subject illuminator status and illum and not illuminator status both you are uh, superimposing superimposing because of pot presence and absence object pot presence and absence you are making a statement the subject jam is the illuminator or not illuminator really speaking jay in jam is neither illuminator nor not illuminator whether pot is there or not pot is present also pot is not present also jam is as it is nischala avikriya huh? nischala shikha jam is nischala jvalanti see now this statement illuminator jam is the illuminator jam is not the illuminator is correct statement carefully carefully hot answer jam is the illuminator of pot jam is not illuminator of pot when pot is present jam is the illuminator when pot is absent jam is not the illuminator this is the wrong statement wrong statement why the pots presence and absence you are uh, making a statement upon the jam as illuminator and not illuminator pot jam is not doing any job of illumining the pot whether it is there or not whether it is there pot is not uh, jam is not doing the job of illumination if pot is absent jam is not stopping the job of not illumining the pot these are all jobs are done by jam no jam does not do anything it is a firm steady nischala changeless that is why that is why what 
सा अवस्था यद अवस्था तद अवस्था हौ यू हाव टू डू बहु रिहि समास या अवस्था यस्या सा यद अवस्था सा अवस्था यस्या सा तद अवस्था सो वाट एवर अवस्था इट ईज देर सेम इट ईज बिकॉज ऑफ युवर भ्रांति पॉट ऑब्जेक्ट प्रेजेंस एंड एब्सेंस यू आर चेंजिंग द स्टेटमेंट इल्यूमिनेटर एंड नॉट इल्यूमिनेटर इट्स नॉट करेक्ट लाइक दैट साक्षी आलो साक्षी दैट एक्सापल दृष्टांत ओवर नौ लेट इज कम टू दाष्टांत वाट इज दट दाष्टांत सिक्सटी सिक्स निधिध्यासन वर्से वेरी वेरी इंपारटेट निधिध्यासन वर्से वि कैन फोकस अपॉन श्लोक नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स वेरी स्म अनुबंधोक्ति दीज सिंपल टू वर्ड्स ओनली त्र सर्वधी व्यंजकस्त परमात्मा प्रदीपक सन्निध्य सन्निधानु धीवृत्तीम विक्रिय ट्यून हेज चेंज रे थिंक सर्वधी व्यंजक उद्धव गीत ट्यून हेज कम एनी हाउ नो प्रॉब्लम विथ ट्यून वाट इज द ट्यून डजेंट मैटर सो नौ सिक्सटी फाइव अन्वय हेव यू गाट दैट क्लियरली यदवस्था घटादीना सन्निध सती सती सप्तम यू हेव टू सप्ले सती व्यनक्ति भण्य तदवस्था एव नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस तदवस्था एव घटादीना असन्निध सती न व्यनक्ति भण्य अगेन न व्यनक्ति भण्य यू हाव टू सप्लै से टाइम विदिन ब्राकेट्स सो न व्यनक्ति व्यनक्ति इल्यूमिनेटर एंड नॉन इल्यूमिनेटर दीज टू वेर्ब्स दीज टू वेर्ब्स That is about uh, 65 only. I am talking. These two verbs, vyanakti uh, and uh, illuminator, and na vyanakti, non illuminator. Two verbs are associated with the subject in the statement of the sentence. But really speaking, the two verbs indicate a change in the object. two verbs indicate a change in the object what is that change in the object object is what pot what is that change change is presence and absence its a presence presence of pot object absence of pot object that is the change in the object you are um, superimposing associating with what jam these two verbs venakti and na venakti illuminator and non illuminator the pots presence and absence you are associating with the jam as illuminator and non illuminator like that like that what ahankara ahankara's presence and absence and sakshi chaitanyam gets the Uh, illuminator or experiencer knower or not experiencer pramata apramata illuminator non illuminator observer non observer all this you are giving bhokta abhokta you are superimposing but it appears as change in the subject that is dashtanta in this shloka he says sarva धी व्यंजक त्र मीन्स दिस इज बीइंग सो त्र चेंजिंग दिस इज बीइंग सो मीन्स व्हाट द चेंजिंग ऑब्जेक्ट एट ऑब्जेक्टिव वर्ल्ड लेवल ऑल चेंजेस 
all changes are happening this is being so means what at objective level in the udaharana example pot example change is there presence and absence change similarly whole world in the place of pot you have to take the whole world all nama roopa prapancha you have to take in the case of uh, in the pot example la ninga whole world ulagame adila vekkana in the pot example place la enna eduthukona ipo ella nama roopa prapancha whatever you experience that you have to see sarvadhi vyanjakah tadvat tadvat just like just like tadvat means like tree example like gem example tadvat like tree example gem example as given above atma pradeepakah atma sorry pradeepakah paramatma सर्वधी व्यंजकः सर्वधी व्यंजकः सिंपल यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड तद्वत् जस्ट लाइक इन द ट्री इज मूविंग एंड ट्री मूवमेंट यू हैव टेकन एंड जम इल्यूमिनेशन दैट यू आर टॉकिंग लाइक दैट तद्वत् परमात्मा दि परमात्मा दि साक्षी चैतन्यम प्रदीपकः illuminator pradeepakah illuminator of what pradeepakah sarvadhi vyanjakah paramatma pradeepakah paramatma pradeepakah paramatma means what consciousness principle chaitanya swarupam pradeepakah means atma is called jyoti compared to jyoti vikas in whose presence things are known paramatma the sakshi chaitanyam i the consciousness in because of me all the things are known what are those things here he says here sarvadhi vyanjakah i reveal every we have to supply i okay atma reveal ब्रह्मन रिवील ने नमक इन्ना वरों अंधे ब्रह्मन आत्मा नाम दा साक्षी चाहिए तन्यम आय रिवील एवरी थॉट सर्वधी मींस एवरी थॉट एवरी थॉट राइजेस इन द माइंड आय रिवील एवरी थॉट व्हिच राइजेस इन द माइंड आय रिवील एवरी थॉट व्हिच राइजेस इन द माइंड that is the meaning of sarvadhi vyanjakah in the mind many thoughts arise sukha vritti dukha vritti raga vritti dvesha vritti ananda vritti lata vritti thoughts are arising in the mind from morning to till night until you sleep sarva sarva means all not only my own thoughts all beings all living beings for that shankara acharya in upadesha sahasri he use um, one expression in the seventh chapter second verse it comes yatha atma svabuddhi charanam sakshi tadvat pareshvapi just as uh, uh, my intellect uh, my mind my thoughts are uh, um illumined by me the sakshi chaitanyam similarly all other living beings are also not only human being all living beings that is why it is called sarvadhi not only human beings but you see the cow dog they if you show the grass the cow comes near if you show the stick it runs away if you show the bread dog comes closer if you show the stick it runs away it is also having that you know awareness illuminator uh, that is the revealer of that thought ah oh, this is stick they are going to beat me it runs away oh this is bread they are going to give to me i am hungry it comes and eats the thought comes or not therefore sarvadhi vyanjakah <coughs> 
ஐ ரிவீல் எவ்ரி தாட் ரை ஹுச் ரைஜஸ் இன் த மைண்ட் தென் வாட் நேம் ஐ கேட் ஐ தி பரமாத்மா சாட்சி சைத்தன்யம் பிரதீபகா திஸ் அன்பை ஐ ஹாவ் டு ஸ்டே லைக் திஸ் தத்வத் பரமா பிரதீபகா பரமாத்மா பிரதீபகா இஸ் த விசேஷணம் டு பரமாத்மா அட்ஜெக்டிவ் டு பரமாத்மா பிரதீபகா பரமாத்மா சர்வ வியஞ்சகி பவதி டு பி சப்ளை வென் சந்நிதி அசந்நிதானேஷு இந்த எக்ஸாம்பிள் கட இஸ் த சந்நிதி அசந்நிதி ப்ராக்சிமேட் நியர்பை அண்ட் நாட் ஃபார் அவே தட் ஆப்சென்ஸ் ஹியர் வாட் சந்நிதி அசந்நிதானேஷு இந்த மைண்ட் விருத்தி ஜாகிரதவஸ்த விருத்திஸ் ஆர் அவைலபிள் மைண்ட் இஸ் தெர் ஆர் லாட் ஆஃப் தாட்ஸ் ஆர் ரைசிங் இன் த மைண்ட் வென் யூ ஆர் இன் ஜாகிரதவஸ்த வென் யூ ஆர் இன் ஸ்லீப் நோ அஹங்கார இஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷனிங் நோ தாட் இஸ் ரைசிங் யூ ஆர் இன் டீப் ஸ்லீப் தட் டைம் இட் இஸ் அசந்நிதானேஷ் அசந்நிதானேஷ் when you are uh, immersed in another job you forget your knee pain uh, toothache headache sometimes you forget asannidhanesh because of uh, you are uh, immersed in another work you forget that happens thought changes <coughs> sannidhi asannidhi means the presence and in the absence of emotions of the mind in the presence and absence of the emotions which are rising in the <coughs> mind which are rising in the mind that is called sannidhi presence of emotions asannidhi asannidhaneshu in absence of emotions of the mind sukha vritti dukha vritti all we superimpose upon what அவர் சர் தீவிரத்தீனாம் அவிக்ரிய ஸோ அன்வய் ஐ ஹாவ் டு டு செகண்ட் லைன் தீவிரத்தீனாம் சந்நிதி அசந்நிதானேஷு அவிக்ரிய பரமாத்மா அவிக்ரிய பவதி டு பி சப்ளைட் எகேன் ஐ தி சாட்சி சைத்தன்யம் ஹூ இஸ் நோன் ஆஸ் பரமாத்மா பிரதீபகா அஹம் செல்ஃப் luminous consciousness i am pradipakah means what i am self luminous consciousness aham paramatma and aham aham potukano illana avare avara paramatma paramatma nu solra namak enna namak kadiyad nu solla kuda aham paramatma avikriya aham bonda bhavami solalam ar paramatma தீவிரத்தீனாம் சந்நிதி அசந்நிதானேஷு பரமாத்மா அவிக்ரிய பவதி பரமாத்மா ஐ தி சாட்சி சைத்தன்யம் ஐ எம் நெய்தர் இல்யூமினேட்டர் நாட் நான் இல்யூமினேட்டர் ஐ எம் நாட் இல்யூமினிங் த எமோஷன்ஸ் ஆர் தாட்ஸ் ரியல்லி ஸ்பீக்கிங் இன் மை ப்ரசன்ஸ் த இல்யூமினேஷன் த தாட்ஸ் ஆர் ரிவீல்ட் are not revealed not because of me the sakshi chaitanya really speak i am not the illuminator i am not the revealer really speaking because of their presence and absence that absence and presence of dhivrittis they superimpose upon me and say i the sakshi chaitanya am the illuminator of the emotions raga vritti dvesha vritti na unnume pannale i am not doing any job of illumination i am not doing any job of revelation <laughs> i am not doing any job of uh, uh, knowing or doing or anything no ing at all therefore no change at all therefore what i am paramatma but people use sannidha sannidhaneshu dhivrutti nam paramatma avikriya he is not changing i this sakshi chaitanya i am not changing at all 
That's why Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Upadrashtanumantacha bharta bhokta maheshwaraha paramatmeti chapyuktaha. No? I am not a karta bhokta. I am upadrashta. I am the only witness consciousness. Upadrashta. Next verse. 67. <coughs> Further clarification of that same 66, more clarity he wants to give that I will read. 67. Naprakasha kriya kachit asya syadatmani asya syadatmani vidyate upacharat kriya Sanya sasya yah prakashasya sannidhim. I told you these are all Nididhyasana verses. Hmm? Again, asya kachit prakasha kriya na vidyate. Asya paramatmanaha. Hmm? Paramatmanaha. Atmani, Atmani here self reflexive pronoun. For this Paramatma, awaring is also not there. Awaring, knowing is also not there in Paramatma. Swatmani, in that Paramatma, na vidyate asya kachit prakashakriya. Illuminating job, illuminator action, illumining action is not there in me, the Paramatma Sakshi Chaitanyam. I am not illumining. Then what I am doing? I am not doing anything. Then how the emotions are uh, known? In my presence, they are all evident. If they are not there, you are deep sleep, I don't do anything. Objects are there, light illumines. Objects are not there, bulb light does not illumine. It is a, light is not doing any job. It is the only object, not the light. Okay, like that, I the Atma, Prakashakriya na vidyate. There is no any illuminating. Action, awaring is also not there in Paramatma, me the Paramatma. But Upacharat, figuratively, Upacharat, Akriya Asya, Upacharat, figuratively we say, Upacharat Kriya, sorry, Upacharat Kriya. That action of illumining is um, action of awareing, knowing, like that, they are figuratively say that Kriya is there. Sa asya saha prakashasya sannidhi. When the object is sannidhi, prakash, sannidhi means when the object is, um, when object comes. Sannidhi means when object comes in front. Sannidhi. I am given the name. What name? Prakashas. I am given the name. The illuminator. I am given the name illuminator. I am neither illuminator nor non-illuminator. In my presence everything is illumined. So, I am not doing any job. More in the next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamevavasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari he, oh.